Well, where do I even begin with this build? Um, it's been such an epic journey. I guess the best place to start is to thank the companies and the people that made this build possible. A lot of people have been claiming that I'm paid by dog comma shama shama. No, that's not true at all. Uh, I do appreciate free stuff because it's awesome, but it doesn't pay my bills. And the reason why I promote Dogcom and all these other companies that I'm going to be talking about is because they are the companies that I chose. You see, I'm a nobody, nothing with no followers and no channel. And all I have is a dream and determination and a little bit of skill. That's all I got. I don't have a big channel. I'm not Joshua Bardwell. People, they didn't reach out to me and say, hey, here's my battery or here's my motors. Can you, you know, give me a good review and we'll, you know, pay you or outright just give you stuff for free. That's not how this went down. In fact, one of the biggest difficulties in making this was the discouragement that I had to face in being turned down time and time again by companies. I'm not going to name any names, but one of the big turning points of this build when I literally was so depressed and I was just like really down in the dumps because I had thought this company, this company saw my videos and they're like, wow, they're really amazing. We love them. And everything was seeming positive. I was going down the pipeline of the appropriate people to get some stuff sent to me. And then when they, I finally sent my channel to this person after having raved about my videos and about my build and saying, wow, it's really amazing. It's so great. They saw my subscriber count and they're like, well, maybe one day we can consider this. But right now, you know, we're not, we don't have this available or something like that. They just, they blew me off because I didn't have the subscriber count that they were looking for. Now that was really discouraging and disheartening to me. And what's more, I think it's also very, it's a very short-sighted mentality for companies to take because I can understand if I wasn't good enough, if my videos weren't good enough or my build wasn't good enough or whatever, if I had to improve and that's why they didn't sponsor me, that is understandable. And I absolutely accept that and I will learn and I will get better. Mark my words, I'm gonna make it. But like, what am I supposed to do with you're just not popular enough, right? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? What are, what are creators and, and people with passion, people that spend all their time building and learning and growing in cinematography and, and design, and not working an algorithm? On the flip side of that company who treated me rather poorly, I would say, there are these companies. And I am so proud to support these companies, not because they gave me free shit. I mean, yes, that feels nice, but it's mostly because they perfectly fell in line that ideal of forward thinking and giving back to the community, supporting the community, supporting creatives. This is just, it's so great to know that they do exist. And what's even better is that they're the best. They're the best because these people don't spend all their money like iFlight and marketing. They spend their money in R&D and paying engineers and paying skilled people to make these products awesome. And so when they saw me pouring my heart and effort into my videos, even though they saw a 100 subscriber YouTuber, they saw that effort and that passion and that ability. And they said, hey, we we like that also, We that's good. And so they said, hey, this is a person that, you know, is gonna do good things. And so let's talk about this, HQ Prop. What can I say about them? Fantastic. So yes, I mean, they, it speaks for itself, HQ Prop, right? Come on. <laughs> um, Maple Wireless, as you guys know from pretty much a lot of my biggest videos on my channel. I love Mip Wireless, it's fantastic. And this, the, the cross polarization is not a gimmick. Anyone saying it's a gimmick, they're just trying to protect their, sp their sponsors, right? Because not only are these fantastic antennas, it also does absolutely make a big difference in high bounce path environments. As I've tested, please go look at the videos. I've tested it multiple times. Next, we have Brother Hobby. This is one, a wild card for me, Brother Hobby. They've always been the brand that I consider to be this like this premium, fantastic motors that it was really tough to get a hold of them because they don't really seem to have a big social media presence. And so when I finally did get a hold of them, they sent me these motors and then they even sent me an extra pair of motors. Like I was so surprised. I figured a big company like Brother Hobby wouldn't even look at someone small like me, but it just goes to show you that Brother Hobby is comprised of people who really love FPV and not just FPV, by the way, also, you know, cars and you name it, like they make motors for pretty much everything. And so, yeah, Brother Hobby, I am so proud to be sponsored by them as well. Dogcom, you know them, you love them. And if you don't, you should, because this is the best LiPo in the world, in my opinion. 
it's fantastic. It's a it's a factory that did an OEM for like a fourth of the world's lipos, took all their knowledge, experience, and put it into a brand called Dogcom. Every professional pilot I know here, they all use Dogcom. This is the brand. The next one is uh, up in here, this little flight stack. It is HackRC. And I know that's kind of a wild card, but I tell you what right now, I bought some HackRC AIOs for my uh, Synalog 35 and my little th three inch and they work so well. I was like, hey, and oh, by the way, they're also were incredibly cheap compared to everything else. So I was like, this is pretty good. Good price, good quality, never had any issue. All right, well, let's see what we can do. So I contacted them and told them that this was my build. And I thought they only made like AIOs and smaller things. I'm like, well, do you have anything for like a, a 60 amp, like, you know, hardcore acro build? And they're like, yeah, we got something. And so they sent me this flight stack and no problems. The gyro is great. The flight controller runs uh, D shot 600 is what I'm running on it. It's just perfectly no issues at all. So thank you so much to hack RC. It's a fantastic brand guys. I can definitely recommend without a shadow of a doubt. I haven't tested this thing like in the long term, but I have tested hack RC's 40 amp AIO and I've used it on two builds now and not a single issue for months. Uh, it's been like four months or something like that. No issue at all. I love it. So good. Um, but this so far is working great. And that's pretty much it for the sponsorship of companies. And the last but definitely not least is the, um, the air unit here. Now, I was pretty discouraged at the time because I, I contacted Walk Snail because I was interested in seeing what they were all about and stuff. And they they actually accepted my friend's request. And then I told them my spiel about, you know, this is a build, here's the thing, here's my channel. And then they, they ignored me. They didn't, never responded. So whatever on that. But I was pretty discouraged because I, I didn't think that it was all going to come together at that time. And then T-Motor just turned me down because they said I didn't have enough subscribers. So I was really in the dumps and um, I was like, well guys, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this build done because I can't get a BTX, you know? And I guess I guess it could make it analog. It might be easier to, to check the companies or something. And that's when my buddy, Lucas, um, someone who believes in me uh, said, I'll sponsor you, buddy. And the next day I got this air unit in the mail from him. And so thank you so much, Lucas, um, to have someone that believes in you is a special thing and it really can, get you through the tough times. So thank you so much, Lucas. I really appreciate it, brother. You know, one of these days I got to pay you back, maybe not monetarily, uh, you know, but like I definitely would have built something really cool and sent it to you. Uh, so that, that that's in my heart. And I know you didn't do it for money. I know you didn't do it because you wanted me to pay you back. I know you did it because you believe in me and you wanted this bill to be done. So here it is. Thank you so much, Lucas. You made it possible, brother. And so, yeah, that's this bill. It's it flies fantastically. I'm so happy because it came together. There's a lot of challenges along the way, but in the end, it flies like a monster. It does, and the whole balancing, the balancing section of it, like um, the fact that it balances on its top and bottom axis, actually balances better with weight, the GoPro and the battery on it. Um, it makes it fly so powerful. There's like no bounce back. And this is a big drum. This is like almost like an eight inch, like seven inch size, right? It's got the prop guards. Uh, very efficient with the printing, if I don't say so myself. One big thing too is I'm going to be trying to flesh out my Patreon and I'm going to actually be releasing all of this on my Patreon for the subscribers. All of my 3D designs, all of my designs, I want to release it to the public. Um, but I do kind of need compensation because I do need to make enough money to merit me continuing to spend my time countless hours doing this kind of stuff. So check out my Patreon, guys, if you're interested. There's like basically nothing on it right now, but I promise you once I start getting some subscribers, I'll start fleshing it out. Right now, I'm just shifting sand of my time trying to put it where it's the most valuable and I enjoy it the most so I can actually keep doing this. Guys, I love you so much and let's just move into the parts of the video that you came to see.
know. All right, time to check the motor temps. Yes. Yes. They're warm, but they're not like so hot. Here. 